Nacional and extreme interest in the famous biscuit. Brazil is now expanding the market through Asia. And since the factory is open of the so lovely product, they are taking over all sales in India. Now, let's reach Phil Castle, who is in Bangladesh now and is covering the note. Phil, tell us what's happening. Thank you, Tony. An incredible impact can be seen among the different companies which several years ago have managed the biscuit business. Now, I am with the one of the most prominent bakers in Bangladesh, Jarmil Denali, who has turned his business model into the new scheme. Mr. Denali, tell us how Colombian cupcakes has changed your life. Before today, Colombian cupcakes, my life has been to be to be seen. something about the Colombian Calcase Enterprises and how its business model works. In occasions, you can find yourself in problem if you need to find a pastry shop that specializes in biscuit bakery, especially if you're lonely for a delicate biscuit with an excellent flavor without worrying out that it could be rusty or the flour you wish is available. Now think for a moment, if you're interested in carrying out a familiar or enterprise event, this kind of event might require an exquisite quality biscuit that can be just in time. Probably you are going to need a wide set of designs that suits with your event theme, or probably you're just in a rush and you don't have time to go out in search of what you need. In this scenario, Columbia Cupcakes is focusing in the basic thing of this context, and it is to deliver the more quantity of value to the client as possible. But what kind of value specifically? Well, we just simply deliver an eatable product called Cupcake, with a notable singularity, and it is that it's made with natural sago stock, and it is offered in a wide variety of flavors and fruits. But actually, what enhances this product and it is a remarkable part of the value is the service that comes with it. But in order to understand the services, where they come from, and how are they related to achieve the aim, let's see them at the nine basic blocks of the Canvas model. The first block of the model refers to the person or the organization for which we are creating value. In this case, the person who needs the product will be the first ones heading the list, paying particular attention in the preference by genre, age, or type of event to carry out. Preference of flavor, a style of cupcake between others, will be included as well. On the other hand, there are the persons who do part of the design of the cupcakes, and if you thought that actually they are only part of the chain of value, you're right. But as many persons that may require the product, the designers, suppliers, or even the messengers are part of the customers, and inside the respective segmentation, they have a special treatment. In the second block, a specific value proposition is established for every segment. Colombian Cupcakes cares for the basic needs of every segment, seeking for sugar-free products lines, product lines with homemade ingredients and flavors, products with funny, romantic or soft things, delivering shipping services or even providing various logistics service links so you can be assisted at the time you want to organize a farewell party. All of this by just accessing the Colombian Cupcakes website. In the third block, the channel describes how we are interacting with the customer and delivering value. Here, the website is the main channel through which the client may have information and access to products and services. This is followed by the various touch points assigned to the franchise and which the customer can attend as desired. There you will find a nice place to try cupcakes accompanied by a good cup of Colombian coffee. Additionally, you can find a distribution unit also attached to the franchise at the other responsibilities for delivering one time in a good condition each of your orders. In the fourth section, there are a number of strategies that allow us to establish a strong relationship with the customer and ensure as far as possible their satisfaction and loyalty. Among the most important ones is to link the customer into a voting system which can be used to set a score for the sign that the client considers to be best in the structure and colors. On the other hand, there will be a record of the purchases, so each customer will earn points in order to get discounts on products and service on the brand. In the fifth block, the revenue stream makes clear how and through which pricing mechanism the business model is capturing value. In this space, 
Any person or organization which is interested in joining our value chain can append the service to the portfolio of Colombian cupcakes. This way, any service the customer may need can be managed through the website by submitting a commission. The sixth block describes the infrastructure needed to create, deliver, and capture value. Among the most significant key resources, there are the sagu crops owned by Colombian farmers, bakeries linked with Colombian copies with care of the pastry trade and the products delivery. Additionally, it's necessary that its business is handled through a robust information system, so a hosting service, domain, cloud computer, payment gateway, among others, are needed. The seventh block shows the activities carried out by any partner or affiliate in order to have a good performance. This aspect reflects the interest of delivering a product created for the customer. Here, every order is tested. All the products are checked for fresh status and everything matches with the customer specifications. And in the event of any logistic service, customer relationship management campaigns are conducted to receive feedback and to preserve the relationship. The eighth block reflects the key partners that describe which can support or leverage the business. Here the farmers who produce the stock are essential for preparing the cupcakes. Obviously, you need a team to coordinate and ensure to each of the cupcakes factory have the necessary raw materials to face the demand. Just as is required, a team that maintains a strong relationship with these suppliers, ensuring fair and timely payment for their services. As a part of a welfare program, every farmer will be granted with the opportunity to work in the sago crops and to access a house for his family. And finally, we have a cost structure that is supported by a proper survey of the costs associated with the order baking and delivery management, billing of products and services, and administration and maintenance costs for corporate image through its subsidiaries and website. As you see, our product pretends to be more interesting than just a piece of cake. In fact, it pretends to be radical, it pretends to be useful, and honestly, it pretends to be delicious. So, do you want to celebrate a party? Do it with Colombian cupcakes. Do you want to get married? Say it with Colombian cupcakes. Do you want to ask for pardon? Ask for Colombian cupcakes. There are too many ways to use the product. Actually, you can pull yourself out and try and overstand it meat or chicken cupcakes. So which would it be? Which retention is going to be? How are you going to spread yourself or when do you start to deal with us? Whatever, the choice you make is going to be a marvelous opportunity. Because remember, trying a piece of Colombia was a never so sweet. Yeah. Never mind. As you said, <laughs> tranquilo, tranquilo. Thank you, Tony. An incredible impact can be seen among the different components of the